Right, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. Me and Rooney on a little bit of a mission today. We're out exploring the same side hills, and we've got a, a route planned to go somewhere and camp overnight. Uh, we'll take a minimum kit with we? It's a little bit overcast, we're due some uh, rain. Well, that's what the weather forecast says. Whether it happens or not, it's a different matter. But uh, yeah, so we've just started from the bottom of the road there. And we're just making my way up. It's a lovely valley like. Uh, you can see the weather's coming in. And we're just heading up here. And we're going to skirt round up the top. Over there. And then see where it takes me. And anyway, we're looking at doing over the next two days. About 15 miles in total I think it is. Or 15 k's. And uh, yeah. So we'll talk a little bit more about the kit later on. But uh, got to get up these hills first. Rooney's just at the front there, leading the way. <laughs> so anyway, I'll catch us when I get to the top, and then we'll have a look and see what the views are like. Right, well, that's we're on a little bit of a flat for about 200 meters, and then, uh, yeah. There's a little bit of a killer that comes straight up a big hill like that. But, uh, I'm just glad I've only got about 16 kilos on me back. I normally bring out like 20 odd. <laughs> so if I use lightweight packers, um, obviously 16 kilos is still far too much, but I went as minimum as I can. It feels nice and comfortable. Like, I didn't feel like I've got a pack on me back to be quite honest. And uh, Rooney's on about 14 kilos and he's yeah. got a He's got an Osprey Bergen on, which will be even comfortable, like. So, but yeah. So we're just heading up here now. Oh. So, we're coming up the Dow Crags. Obviously, we'll come up the steepest part of uh, the spur. And um, I've never climbed up a hill for over six months. And uh, the calf burn I've got, I've never experienced it in my life, even when I was young and fit. Now I had calf burn, shin splints. That hasn't been the case, it's just calf burn. And uh, I feel like I don't want to be the only fat man in the chip shop at the moment. Because I'm blowing up my hoop. But uh, no, that's the leg burn, hopefully. Aye. For the next part of the ascent, it feels a bit better because... <coughs> Aye. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but all I can see is the steps of doom. <laughs> so, we're heading up that way there. This is the sort of place you bring your nana if you want to get rid of her. You know, <laughs> because she's weed on all your mattresses and all that, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Hey, hey, here we go. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, same inside. Now we're looking over the back end there. It's a bit misty. Right, well, that's it. We're at the top, but the clag's coming in like thick and fast. We're heading up that way towards the top of uh, Simon's side. So there's a little track follows all the way along. You can see it in the distance there. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to stop and get a water break. But uh, absolutely stunning, like. So you got Rothbury down the bottom there in the valley. There's a few people walking like, so... Yeah. I think I camped down there once. But anyway, we're gonna push on. See you in a bit. All right, we're getting near the main part of the crags now. Oh, mist's definitely rolling in like a group of lads down there wanting their dogs. Oh, see a canny bunch of lads. Yeah, definitely getting missed here.
Well, there we go. Same as Side Hills, 429. Bish bash bosh. We've got a kind of few miles to go yet though. But uh, wind's starting to pick up. The clag's coming right in now. And it's feeling a little bit moisture in the air as well. So we're going to push on for a bit. Right, well, that's the end of Simon Side Crags, just about. We've just got a little bit of a walk down the bankment, and that's it, like. So, and then, don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, like, but you can see the track down the bottom there. We're just going to wang a left and through, go through all the woodland and head off to our location. Still got a few miles to go yet, like, and, uh, yeah, it's a pity about the clag. Definitely a pity. Because there's normally amazing views here. You can't do and do and do and Well, make sure you didn't fall, do and do and do and lad. Right, I'll let it change my battery and I'll season a bit, everyone. Doom. Right, do and we're gone, everyone. We can go either that step or I'll take this one. Looks easier. Oh, hey, I tell you what, it's a bit of a nightmare, this one. Be a nightmare when it's icy. Yeah, if I want to put the camera away, actually, because I need to use my stick. Right, well, here we go. Here's a little notice board. Obviously, I can't focus it right in or anything. There's loads of writing on it. But if you want to pause it and focus in, you should be able to have a little look. And that's where we've just come down from, up the top there. So we've walked all the way along Soundside Crags. And now what we're doing is we're going to wang a left. And we're going to go along this trail uh, for a few more miles and then uh, we'll see where we'll get from there. So we're getting near five o'clock at night, so we've got about three hours to, till it gets dark. And uh, I better push on because Rooney's about 300 metres ahead of us now. Anyway, yeah. That, oh, oh, just nearly slipped there. Aye, that was a bit of a knee jerk, oh, that one coming down them stairs. Um, I've got a bit of a dodgy knee in any way, here comes the excuses look, but yeah, it's um, very steep and very little small steps, but uh, yeah, glad that bit's over with, now we've just got to walk along here, this little dirt track, and I don't know if you'll pick a Rooney up in the distance there, but he's just going round the, round the corner there now, and anyway, yeah, I've been, um, testing out some new hiking boots from Fitville and uh, we'll have a little closer look at them later on um, I think I've got a little bit of footage there of me walking along the crags with them um, I've been wearing for the last couple of months for dog walking and also at work well oh, it's a bit buggy this I think because I'm off the track but uh, yeah um, I just thought I'd try them out the day and see what they're like they're very light. My Matadales are um, quite a heavy boot. And these boots here, sorry, I'm just looking down because I'm walking through loads of marsh. Um, these two boots don't even wear the same as um, one of my other boots do. So anyway, as you can see, I've got a lot of bog and stuff. So I'm gonna stop recording, try and catch Rooney up because he's miles ahead now, little bugger. And uh, I'll get past all this lot.
well, we're in a dip. We've come across a fence, and then we're trying to get around this bit of a bog here. Rooney's going for it that way. You know what? I'm going to take this route, see what it's like. That's solid as a rock. Someone's put that there for a purpose, Rooney. Oh, it's like walking on a bridge. Happy days. Nice little valley. And that's the direction that we've come from. And them caves are just up there. Brilliant. Definitely going back there to the camp. But I, I'm enjoying this. Something different. Uh, I don't know what time it is now, like. What time is it? Quarter past five. Oh, well, we've got bags of time, like. Uh, not no major setups, just a bivy bag and a poncho. Really, that's it. Oh, I'm gonna head up here anyway. A few more miles. Then hopefully we shall be getting into the territory that we really know. Right, well, we've just stopped for a quick water break and catch my breath. It's, uh, we're walking back uphill now. So, it's lovely. Lovely little valley, this. We're onwards. Onwards and upwards. Right, well, that was a boggy section, that like. So now I know why we've got a wooden put, a footpath to walk along now. Thank God, that was boggy. So these boots I've got on are getting a good test in any way at the day. Um, so yeah, happy days. But, still got a few miles to go. It's been a good mission this today. I'm enjoying it. And uh, they got to get set up in my location where we're going, get a brew on, get some food. As you can see, it's all boggy everywhere, like so, squish, squish, squish. Now this track that we've been walking. It is on the maps, and as you can see, we've got little way markers. Is that what you call them? I think that's what you call them anyway. So, there you go. Alright. Now we're heading right away at the top corner, and then I think we're going to wang a left. That moor there's. Um, quite boggy i've got wet feet now and wet legs but uh yeah it was hard going that i think i've done a little bit of video on of it i'm not sure but that's the direction where we'll come from there all right and uh yeah that was a canny walk oh a bit boggy in places rain's just starting to kick in but we're finally at the woodlands that we need to be at and uh we need to start pushing on now because it's getting, I think it's uh, starting to green, like I said, and uh, we need to get a couple more miles in yet to get to our location and uh, get set up, get snug as a bug in a rug. Right, well, as you can see, the weather's took a turn for the worst. And that is P on Dune. <laughs> Hello. Me and Rooney have donned ponchos on just try and keep ourselves a little bit dry so but I can feel my legs getting wet like so I put my waterproof bottoms on but I've got yeah. the I've got a decent pair with isn't number classes a second pair of trousers if these get soaking so it's not a drama but yeah 
I oh, yes. haven't got any waterproofs with us, apart from what I'm wearing. Rooney really even forgot to bring his normal jacket. Plonker. Yeah. Well, yeah, the weather's turned. We knew we were going to get rain. So we're going to be setting up in the wet when we finally get to our destination, that is. And I think it'll be a case of hunkering down underneath these wet ponchos. Oh yeah. One of the things I don't like about ponchos is if you haven't got waterproof bottoms on, all the water runs off onto your legs. Oh, never mind there. Right, well, we're going to push on and try and reach our location as quick as we can and get set up. I'll see you when we get there. We'll see you damp and miserable. Damp and miserable. <laughs> but we're out living life. I tell you what, the weather's um, changed and the and the um, the temperature has gone right down because my hands are freezing, absolutely freezing. Right, well, finally, we're at our destination where we're going to be stopping tonight and use that no, no. So we've got some water, water foot, uh, water, I can't even speak, I'm not good. I'll tell you what, I've put my leg burner now, but uh, yeah, the rain's starting to ease off a little bit. Putting these ponchos on over the top of your kit, it just saves all your jackets and anything getting soaked and wet, so you're not sitting on wet clothes all night. But uh, yeah, trousers are soaking, but I'll swap them out for me, um, me waterproof bottoms because they're a nice soft material, same as my jacket. And I actually feel like a decent pair of trousers. With a pair. I've got a pair of braces to keep them up, so it's ideal. And then I'll still be warm and waterproofed. Oh, tiring that mate, wasn't it? It is, aye. But uh, yeah, here's my main feature for the night. But yeah, that's what we're going to be my water source for tonight. Rooney really says he's going to have a bath later, I like. <laughs> going to swim with the ducks. They brought you a little yellow duck. Oh, he's not in turn, he's too busy eyeballing the woodland. Rooney's gone into, into set you up mode now, he'll be looking to approach to the best spot. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get into the woods and uh, find somewhere to get ourselves set up and I'll bring us back in a bit, okay? Right, well that's where inside the woods. Looks like somebody else has been coming camping here. This is a bit of a log in the seat there, fire stone fire, bits of chopped up wood. Oh, it looks like someone's lent all that wood up here to keep it off the ground, keep it dry a bit. Would have been better standing up though, however it is. Would have stayed drier. There's a nice little flat platform there, like, so I'm thinking about I might put me, me tarp up there, sleep on that, move them bits of wood out of the way. Right, well, that's me out of my wet gear, and I've put me, um, my combat waterproof bottoms on and they're lovely these that my legs feel nice and dry and nice and warm and I've got my buffalo jacket on and then put my combat jacket back on just to stop that getting wet but uh yeah yeah as me set up for the night I haven't put my sleeping system out yet I'm gonna leave that at lastminute.com so I'll put a little bit of lighting on so what I've done here is my DD magic carpet I never leave home without it um, it's acting as a bit of a wind barrier because the wind's coming from that direction a bit and also it's giving us a little bit more room to put me bag and things under so that gives us plenty of room inside of there to play around in all right so the setting up of it is um basically i've got some jungle knots from trc outdoors sorry um they're attached with little oh i just fell down a hole little bags there onto the poncho and that's it so 
basically I've got uh, one, two, three, four of them on. And then what I've done here is I've tied the knot up and the hood properly. And then just got a post in the ground. And that's given us a little bit more room underneath. Rooney's got a similar um, setup to me. DD Magic Carpet, he's got a big up carpet. Um, I might purchase one of them because mine's starting to get loads of holes in now. But his tops, are, uh, well his poncho is actually a little bit bigger than mine as well. Oh yeah, oh well I'll not come I'll not come round that way. I'll just show you. I'm just showing you a shelter, that's all mate. So I'll leave Rooney alone in any way. And uh yeah, rain's starting to subside a bit. So I'm down to my last half a bottle of water, so I'm gonna have to go to the lake in the next hour and uh, get me bag, well in the next half now, and get me bag filled up. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna lean you down here. Get me sell under my shell, I've got me gas stove on the go. That should be nearly boiled. And I'm gonna have a nice, a nice cup of tea. I think you can see me. Let's clean this up a little bit. Oh, the heat off that stove's amazing as well. So I, kettle's nearly boiled. Yeah, that's it there. So, make sure the handle's on too, too much. Sweet. Right over here. I'm glad that rain stopped now, like, well, it's nearly stopped. Them handles are a little bit hot. I'm just gonna half fill that, so I think I'm gonna use the rest of the water in there and I'm gonna have a quick snack of some noodles. But yeah, I'm uh, snug as a bug in a rug now, like me, uh, me, the boots that I'm wearing, they're comfy. Um, they're a bit slippy on, on wet ground, which I wasn't impressed with. Uh, other than that though, they're dead comfortable. The tongue isn't tight doesn't get stitched all the way up the top so as soon as you go into a, a reasonable lower puddle you're just gonna get water in your um in your feet as well. But like I see I've been wearing them for the last couple of months or walking the dogs uh, just around my local like housing estate and I've been wearing them uh, for 10 hour shifts at work. Now I'm constantly walking back and forwards running around like a lunatic for 10 hours solid on a night shift and they've done me really proud, like I've, um, I've, I've really enjoyed wearing them and I think that's what I'll keep, keep them for, walking the dogs and uh, using them for work. So I've got a nice Mars bar, just as a bit of a snack and a nice cup of tea, I'll let that cool down a bit because I'll just end up burning my lips in any way. But it looks like there's a lot of mist coming in in the background. Just a little bite of this, shouldn't really eat what I'm talking like, but never mind. Oh! That's the first thing I've had to eat since 12 o'clock. So there's my view for the night. Looking out onto the lake. There's a track just going along there, like, but I doubt we've got anybody coming past now. But, uh, yeah, Mr. Rooney's just over there, just getting himself layered up. Some dry kit on. Some dry kit. My um, trousers. Are absolutely ringing wet. I won't be putting them back on at all. These are quite comfy. I'll just wear these for going home. And uh, yeah, just need to try and keep them as dry as possible. Well, they're waterproofs in any way. Uh, the part of the same clothing is the jacket, which is Jack Pike. And that, they're brilliant actually. They're a bit wide on the bottoms, like, but other than that, not too bad. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit and chillax and uh, have me brew. And then I've got a little bag of goodies here. And I've got two packets of curry noodles. I'm gonna have one of them packets now. And uh, I've got some pilchets as well. I've brought them out loads of times and never used them. So I think I might eat them now. And then later on tonight, before I go to bed, I've got a ration pack meal. And this is a halal steak and vegetables. What? So we're steak and halal steak and vegetable. Oh, halal. halal. Is that what well. It's halal. That's the way the people say it and when they come in, customers come in asking for it on my section. What is that? Halal. I thought it's not what you said. I did say halal. 
Oh, well, I'll find out. I'll rewind it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have that in anyway tonight, and I'll mix another bag of noodles in. That'll be my supper tonight. Oh, happy days. So, anyway, I'm going to, um, like I said, go and have my cup of tea because I've waffled the load, and uh, I'll see you later on. My feet are a bit damp and a bit cold. Wish I brought me softy boots. See you later because I'm waffling. Right, well, there's my um, my snack. Well, my, my tea, my supper is going to be a curry, but um, yeah, some curry flavoured noodles with some pilchards. Absolutely divine. Rooney thinks it's a bit sickly, like he thinks it's it's a wrong one. <laughs> but uh, it's full of energy and everything. Lovely that man, lovely. Absolutely divine. One shoot my shit. Oh. That's wham that. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I right, we've got a nice cuckoo going off in the in the distance. Well there was, can't hear it now. But uh, the rain's kicking in again, so I need to swing my legs in. Oh, there's my phone going. Excuse me everyone. Right, well, I've come out the woods. I'm uh, heading down to the lake, get some water for me and Rooney. Rooney's just finishing off his tea, so I said I'd come down and get it. Like, he's got one of them bottles, which is a, a, a water to go. I've got one of these in the house. Um, I think I've only used it once. I should have brought it with us, actually, because it's ideal. You just put the water in, drink straight away, whereas the soya filter that I've got, I have to then filter it from my bag, and then, uh, put it in my bottle but as you can see looks like someone's planted a couple of logs there to sit on probably come and do some fishing so i'm not going to put the camera too close oh, there's a bit of tissue on the floor and i'll do it buggers there's my napper in that let's get you on a nice flat area it's a lovely little pond this lake pond whatever you want to call it dry there the bottle, which is the water to go, tells you all about it on the on here. And all you do is take off the lid. And that's the filter. Now you want to make sure you don't put that down anywhere and lose it. So I'm just going to put it in my pocket. And then get down to a safe area, hopefully without falling in the water. It's a bit dirty, the water, like, but. It's better than out. And if it's no good for it, we'll soon have it tomorrow because we'll have the squirts. Oh, looks like someone's left the tent or something there. It's actually not too bad, the water. We'll see how clear it goes when I do mine with a soya filter. So there's Rooney's done. And I have got one of these brilliant bags, these Cenox bag, if you've never heard of them before. Better than the, the filter bags that you get, yeah, the water bags you get with the, the soya filters because it's got a nice big opening top. All right. So it opens nice, it's about a litre, litre and a half. It's got a screw cap on the bottom. So all you do is once you fill it, tip it up that way, take that off, add your um, soya filter to it and then hang it up off a tree into the bottle and just let it do its own thing while you're all mucking around doing other stuff. So again, get myself to the edge. And just scoop the water. And that'll do me. And then just fold that back over. And this top bit slides on which seals it and then I've got a little bit of string with a hook hook that up onto the tree and it'll drift feed as you can see how dark it is there now we'll have a look and see what it's like once I've filtered some so I'm just going to leave that there for now and let's have a look around all right so there's something here 
because now what this is is it a blow you up oh looks like someone's had a boat and it's got a hole in it look and they've just left it here never mind eh? but yeah the, oh, the lovely little place this normally get a really nice view out there as well but as you can see the fog's coming in there's a couple of ducks over the far side but it's not too bad weather's well, calmed down as well which is great but anyway i'm going to head back off into the woods and uh, get myself sorted settled for the night and uh, i might have a jack daniels when i get back see you in a bit right well there's my soya filter set up with the cnox bag i've got it hanging by a bit of cord it's hooked on there and then tight with branch at the top of the tree there and then all i've got to do is you can see it it's just dripping through it's not pouring through anything but i'm in the hurry and i'm just putting some of that into my little um pot and then i'll use that to wash it because i don't want to use me fresh water to wash stuff so anyway that's what it's like rooney's reassessing his setup so he's uh moving his his top further forward because he was on a canny lumpy bumpy bit of ground so he's getting it done while the rain's having a bit of a break and uh yeah happy days yeah. so anyway we decided that we're not going to have a fire tonight um everything's saturated in any way and it'll be just full of smoke uh we've got our, our warm gear on well our cold weather gear on and, and i'm quite toasty actually um the only thing that's not is my feet that's because my boots are damp inside but i'm not going to put fresh socks on until i go to bed so that's it really so what we're doing now is like just doing a bit of personal admin squaring away our kit that we don't need out and uh, just keep it all packed away and uh getting some water sorted and having bruising things nothing really major to report we're not doing a big cook we're not having a fire and uh, yeah, we're just going to chill out because that walk today was actually quite arduous. Arduous, when really you're seeing there. And uh, obviously, because we haven't done a big walk for ages, carrying kit up hills and all that as well. Uh, what was it? 300, 420 odd metres high we walked? I can't remember. Uh, 429, I think it was. Um, Simon side so and that was straight out off the off out the out the car straight up a straight up a hill like so but i it was enjoyable though we enjoyed it a lot of boggy areas so obviously we got a bit damp and then the rain kicked in big style and that got even more damp <laughs> right so anyway that's a full run down with what we've just done the day i'm not bother with the rest of the video and uh I think I might, once I've cleaned my pot out, have another brew. I might make it, um, a chocolate later on and put some Jack Daniels in it because I've got some uh, Jack Daniels for us. So. Well, everybody, as you can see, it's pitch black now. It's about half nine at night. Me and Rooney have got our pitches set up properly now. Rooney's more comfier where he was. He's got his hammock chair up as well. He's sitting on that. And he brought this tiny little foldy up chair, so I'm sitting on that as well. I've made myself a hot chocolate, and I'm going to add a wee dram of Jack Daniels in there. I wish I had brought Jack Daniels fire, because that's nice, I wouldn't drink and neat. Um, but never know, never mind. I'll probably not drink all this hip flask, to be quite honest. That um, screen's gone off. That tastes perfectly all right to me. It does, doesn't it? So I, I've um, made my brew using my, um, my pond water and Rooney's drinking out of his bottle and he's quite happy with it. So anyway, first time, cheers everybody. Thank you very much for watching, it's really appreciated. Cheers again everybody. Oh, that's definitely different. Nice though. But I, so like I said, we're all fed and watered. I'm just gonna sit and chill. Listen to a few tunes, have a little bit of gossip between ourselves, not for the camera, and uh, we shall see you in the morning. Rooney, you want to see anything before we go? I am just letting you know, 
I'm absolutely puggered and I've hardly done any walking. Well, we have, but Aye. I'm hanging up my hoop. We still covered a fair few miles up and down hills and through little bits of swamp land and that route. scenic route we took. <coughs> we could have took an easier route, like, and followed, stayed on track, played proper tracks and things, but we went cross country. But anyway, hope you have enjoyed the video so far. If you have, don't forget, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, it'll be appreciated. And if you're new, subscribe. Oh. Cheers and good night. Alright, well, me and Rudy were sitting relaxing, talking away in the open, and the heavens have opened up again. Looks like it's on for the rest of the night now, like. So we're back under our tiny little tops. There's not much room to swing a cat in here, like, to be quite honest. But yeah. It's definitely strange coming out not having a fire mind, I must admit. But I think I'm gonna go and have a have a wee and then I'm gonna get my boots in there off, get out of my DOS bag and settle down for the night. But it's getting a little bit chiller. Anyway, it's my last ever message for tonight, unless anything drastic happens. I'll definitely see you in the morning. See you later. Well, the forest is alive. Got geese flying all got a cuckoo gun bazook, keep me awake. Quarter seven in the morning. It's foggy and it's a bit damp still. Other than that. Not too bad. What got? And he's getting annoyed with the with the uh, cuckoo light. I'm keeping awake all morning. <laughs> yeah, uh, I had a good sleep last night. I had my earplugs in, so I didn't hear really snoring. But apparently, he's just told us that I've been snoring my head off all night. So that's happy days. <laughs> Let me know how's it how's it feels. But yeah, um, I kept sliding from underneath my top, to be quite honest. Um, I woke up a couple of times, right at the edge of my top, getting a bit wet. But the bivvy bag and that held up well. So, happy days, like. Happy days indeed. So I'm just going to mong out for a little bit in my bag. And then uh, look at having a cup of iron that. And then uh, we'll see what happens. Like I say, it's nearly seven o'clock in the morning now. I think the, I think the geese are coming to land in the water. Noisy well, buggers like. Right, well, that's me and Rooney all packed up. And obviously, there you go. That's where I stayed. Leave no trace, no rubbish or anything. All right, just a little bit of flat ground. Same with Rooney's area. Rooney's just got his uh, poncho, because obviously he's going to use that, he's waterproof, it's pissing down again, like. Uh, he's just a wee off on a final shovel recce. And uh, yeah, so, I will got, got a halfway through packing up and uh, the heavens just opened up again. And it looks like it's going to be pouring down all the way back to the car. So we've got a, got about an hour and a half or so of walk to the car. And uh, yeah, we'll bring it along and show you little bits of footage. But it's absolutely lashing it down like. But uh, yeah, enjoyable night, something different. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much everybody for watching. And uh, appreciate it. So, Got a little bit more footage to come like on the way back and here he is the phantom shitter <laughs> yeah. having a shit in the rain. <laughs> He's not happy like because he's he's soaking bless him, but uh, yeah 
stuff. Look. Shit bag. Yeah. Done the other rubbish bag. So we always carry everything out. I've actually picked up a couple of little bits of litter this morning that I could see that people have left. But uh, yeah, carry everything out like you carry in, ladies and gentlemen. There's too many people coming out and dumping shit everywhere. It's not. Like it's not good. It smells like well, that, well, that bag. What you've just there, thingy there. Dig a hole, poo in it, bury it, take your poo paper away with you. All right. Right. Enough for the uh, lecture. Let's get my Bergens on, and let's get cracking, Rooney. Fish bash bosh. We'll see you on the walk out, everyone. Right, well, thank God the rain has sort of stopped. It's just a little bit of drizzle now. Oh, I die. It's not bad. It's not cold or anything, like. it's just a little bit damp. But uh, Mr. Rooney's all <coughs> ponchoed up. Yes, I'm a bit moist. <laughs> I'm a bit like a Victoria sponge cake. His prior preparation to coming out was piss poor. And, uh, what did you forget, mate? The waterproof coat. But I wasn't planning on coming out. That's right, I. I talked him into it lastminute.com to do this. <coughs> oh, and I, I'm glad he come out. Because I would have got lost. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I got out of the car, i scratching my head thinking, where am I going? <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I just wouldn't have done it. <laughs> would have done something easier. But no, it was a very enjoyable walk yesterday. I apologise, there's not much footage from last night. We didn't do no fires or cooking major meals or nothing. It was basically a get out and do a long walk. And we've achieved that. So that's another one. First one of the year, really. Aye, first one of the year. We've got loads to come. I'm fancying a tent camp next. But uh, we'll see how that goes. I fancy hiring a porter with uh, an elephant spare to give us like a little bit of a lift Aye. to the next location Aye. right so if any of you's out there have got a spare elephant and you just want to have a weekend away with it feel free to get in contact with us by my email and uh we'll bring some apples <laughs> oh is that left there for horses aren't they do elephants eat apples let us know in the comments do elephants eat apples and has anybody got any spare <laughs> elephant stories but anyway, I feel like an elephant. You feel like an elephant. I'm um, having a lightweight pack. It's dead comfortable as well, compared to the big, huge, heavy things that we normally carry. So, but uh, yeah, very enjoyable. We had an earlier night last night. I think it was about half past eleven when I went to Kip. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling them because I've got a lot of it on this video, and I'll see you in a bit. Watch your, watch your hand. 
Yeah, so we decided to come to a cafe in Rothbury and uh, get a full English breakfast. I'm going to start eating mine before it gets cold, so happy days. See you later.